to cut across to the man himself who under whose ministry the hijab was banned. B.C. Nagesh, uh, who was a, a higher education minister under the BJP government, joining us. We also have uh, joining us Mohammad Nalapad, who is the Youth Congress president in Karnataka, hailing the government's decision allowing uh, hijab inside ed, uh, examination halls. We also have Karnataka spokesperson of the BJP, Sudha Halkai. Uh, let me first start with Mr. B.C. Nagesh, sir. How would you view this decision of the Congress? They've decided now that uh, students have been troubled for way too long. We are going to give them permission to wear hijab inside examination halls. Uh, again, it's a political decision. As you know that this is the worst government we are seeing in Karnataka. Neither they are working for the sake of the people. They always want to create some confusion among the people because they are unable to fulfill the guarantees which had been promised to the people and by which they came to the power. So, concentrating on the parliamentary election, they want to see that Muslim votes should be polarized towards Congress. So, they want to divide the society. As you know that we had a big fight in Karnataka regarding hijab in the classrooms and examinations. Yeah. The High Court of Karnataka has clearly given uh, orders that no, uh, no one can put other than the uniform for the examinations. Still, even after getting such an order, government is trying to create a division among the students. So they want to create Muslims and Hindus separately. Now they are only concentrating on the parliamentary election. This is, as I said, is the worst government which we are seeing in the Karnataka. Right. It is only an All ATM right. for the central uh, party. Of Congress. Sir, do stay with us. I'm, uh, I'm taking this question to Mohammed Nalapad, who's a Youth Congress president. Uh, Nalapad, you've been hailing the decision of, the, of your government, uh, but here's the BJP who says this is uh, appeasement politics one, and you also have multiple state elections now. This is the Congress's bid to consolidate your Muslim vote base, even in other states like Madhya Pradesh, Telangana. Uh, you have elections in Rajasthan as well. So it, it's worked for you in Karnataka. You're using the same format, and Karnataka is... is uh, you know, the, dropping the hijab ban, even if maybe briefly, is nothing but a political polarizing move. Uh, uh, respected B.C. Nagesh, sir, said that it is the most useless government. We are not doing any work. But since he was the minister who bought in the hijab ban, the people of Tiptur have given him the right answer. They have defeated him and not allowed him to come back to the Vidhan Sauda. The people of Karnataka do not want such kind of division in politics. They are very clear. They want people who can perform for the interest of the people of Karnataka. Every individual in India has a right to wear what they want. The constitution of India, my Bible, my Bhagavad Gita, my Quran is my constitution. Is the right that is given to me by Baba Sahib Ambedkar. I uphold well, but the Nalpa, right that you know, is There is also us. a concept of uniformity. Do you believe that, uh, you know, inside classrooms, and that's the debate that even has panned out see, in court. I, I, I don't see, need to I, be reiterating that. But the no, whole concept uh, of uniformity, Nabila, the Nabila, fact Nabila, that it's, the fact that a verdict has not come out from the Supreme Court yet. Nabila, uh, this is a nuanced subject. We are not jumping the gun. We are not jumping the gun. I am clearly saying the stay that is being given and the case that is being fought in the Supreme Court is still 12th standard. This is for higher education. This is a higher education examination, neat examination. We are not jumping the gun. We believe in the judiciary. Okay. We believe we get in the that point. Uh, we get that point. But, you know, Nalapad, also, also ask, also the criticism that comes in the way is that, you know, when you allow for uh, students to wear the hijab, which is covering the head, etc., uh, there's also room for malpractice. That's what a lot of the, uh, you know, the groups protesting against the hijab see, are saying. If see, you allow well, first... hijab, then allow us to wear the uh, scarf, the orange scarf. No, see, uh, na na Nabila, when... When there has been a practice, which is there from decades, it was not from yesterday. A student who goes in for exam is already in enough tension, enough of uh, tension he has. And she's used to wearing a hijab. And suddenly you ask her to remove the hijab. And that creates more tension for the child. And she will not be able to perform okay. in the exam. 
Let All her right. be so herself. You, so you believe you've upheld uh, rights in a secular nation uh, uh, like India. That's what uh, your higher education very minister simple. Sudhakar has very clearly very said to India today. Like but that. stay with us uh, quickly, uh, Mr. Nagesh. Uh, the Congress says we are undoing all the wrongs that, that was done by the BJP government. Your take on that? It was not wrong, uh, wrong done by the BJP. It was a law which had been created when because Sidramaya was the chief minister and when the, the Congress education minister was there. According to that law, no one is allowed other than uniform for the examination centers. That is what which BJP tried to practice that. And not only in Karnataka, throughout the world, as you see, a people are protesting against hijab and in many Muslim countries also, they have removed hijab and uh, uh, the burqa for right. the uh, sisters of the country. Well, sir, there are uh, well, protests uh, on different levels uh, over different issues, but in Karnataka, right-wing Hindu groups have said they are going to launch a protest if hijab ban is quashed by the Congress. Will the BJP join in these protests? No, don't uh, create Hindu Muslim. This is the uh, uh, government is against Muslim ladies. They uh, they doesn't want Muslim ladies to be free as free as Hindu ladies. They want to create a, a difference among the student community of the state. See that as as that. Don't uh, try to divide okay. it as an Hindu and uh, Muslim okay. story. Now, you know, the reason to why this is even a point of debate and conversation here is because now the question, this larger question on whether the Congress will fully quash the ban. Um, they've briefly done it for examinations only, but could this be a move that the government uh, would make where they announce a full, uh, you know, revoke the ban entirely? Do you think that would, that is even a possibility? It cannot because it is the order of the High Court. No mm -hmm. government can can go against the court orders. And now the case is pending in the Supreme Court. Till we get the final order from the Supreme Court, no government can can okay. go against that order. Okay, so basically, I, I'm I'm taking it as a formal word from the BJP. If at all the hijab ban is quashed in Karnataka, BJP will not welcome it. Definitely. Why? Why do you want to divide the students on the basis of the, uh, their practices? The this is a hall for which their students are entering for the examinations. Why do you want to divide them? Hmm. All right. It is only a political purpose. You want to concentrate on Muslim votes for the parliamentary election. So they are doing it. Even there were many exams which had been conducted by the government. But no government had allowed hijab or hijab to the examination hall. Then why now Congress government want to do that? All right, so we got your point and thank you very much. Nalpa, do you want to do a button on that? Nalpa, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so I, I, I would like to state by saying so many years the practice was women were allowed to wear what they want and go into exam. This was never a question. Since independence, till this BJP government. But in 2023, the people of Karnataka have given a clear answer that this kind of diversive politics or trying to split human beings, all Indians of this country are equal. A Muslim has equal right as much as what a Hindu has. There is no difference between how Hindu has little more or Christian has little less or Muslim has more. We are all equal. That is what the Constitution so of India case, says. in that case, Nalapad, if you're speaking of equality, then the Supreme Court has also viewed and in its argument said it's not, uh, it, it's, it's not so, see, a, the, a essential no, practice no, 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 under so, the religion of Islam. See, and since no, it's not see, an essential see, practice, see, sir, then one wearing the hijab could, you know, you, you Nabila, can... You can Nab you can Nabila, have, let, you let can, me let me just let, let, let me, me complete. You can you. have uh, people of other religions also saying that they want to wear their symbolic uh, piece of cloth. But why are you doing it today? Why wasn't it been happening for years? From the uh, independent India till today, there was no division.